Uh, welcome back to my channel. My name's Paul. Uh, just in having breakfast. Got two roti coming with two eggs on top. I've got sardine curry, normal curry, sambal. Mix it all in with my breakfast. Yeah, I'm hungry guys. But today I'm getting the boat back to the mainland to sip it up. And we'll start the journey to Sandakan where we'll get the boat to Philippines. But I think the next boat's in three days. There's no way we're going to make that. So it'll be two weeks, another like 15 days before we get the boat, but that's all right. We can go and see the orangutan and things. But for now, I'm going to enjoy my breakfast. And this is my breakfast. What a breakfast, guys. I'm going to be full after this. I'd have to go up and have another sleep. I've got my ticket. I'm just sitting in the waiting room. Another maybe 45 minutes till boarding. Like I said in the last video, this is only a federal territory of Malaysia, so I actually had to stamp out of here. I'll stamp back into Borneo when I get there. And we're going on a tiny little boat. It's like the kind of one of those lifeboats they have on the big ships. In fact, that's exactly what it looks like. It actually looks better than the one that I saw when I arrived on Thursday. I'm on board. They said I could sit in this comfy chair here, but then there's nowhere for me to put my bag, so I'll just sit in the second row. Yeah, should, should be in there in about five minutes. And there seem to be a few hotels, so I should be able to find something. I don't know why there was nothing on booking.com. If I can't find anything, it's still only 10 o'clock in the morning, so I'll just find the bus to the next town. Well, that was a beautiful trip. A bit bouncy though. Guys, my neck's sore. Sorest it's been for a long time. Got a headache. So I'm just going to find a hotel and um, take a couple of Panadol. And hopefully it'll settle down. It's just because that was like a really bouncy, bouncy trip. And um, whoop, I don't know where I'm going. Gosh, it's hot. This has been a bit of a walk, but and as you can see, I've got all my gear on my back. Um, nearly there, just beautiful. I look at all these old houses. Everyone that's been outside, I think everyone's in the air conditioning right now because it's hot. But everyone that's been inside, outside has had a big hello. So anyway guys, as you can hear, I'm panting a bit so I'll put the camera away. And um, I'll speak to you when I find a hotel. Or if I can't find a hotel, I'll speak to you from the bus station. Last video and this one, you're going to notice a lot of these flags all over the place. They've got a big election coming up in a week or two. So, um, yeah. Just like everywhere in the world, election advertising. Hotel, which I'm happy about, but she swears it's two o'clock check-in. I kept saying, no, come on, 12 o'clock. 12 o'clock, she said, no. So in the end, she said one o'clock. But it is now half past 10. So I'm just gonna have a bit of a wander around. And then I'm gonna go back. There's a laundromat right next door. Might as well do some washing while I'm waiting. But just thought I'd go and have a wander, have a look down at the at the coast, look back towards where we just came from. And um, I'm not hungry, guys. That breakfast I had this morning, God, that would have fed two people. Amazing, delicious. A fish market here. So this must be where all the fishing boats come in. There's another dock just over there. And the one we arrived, that's just there. Look at this guy, isn't this just beautiful? Um, I'm not going to really do anything today. As soon as I get in my room, it's going to take some Panadol and relax. But I'll have a proper explore tomorrow if there's anything to see here. You can't see it out in the point there, but there's a rocky point. 
There's, um, there'll be a bit to see here, I think. Sipitang. And that might just be, I don't know if, you, I doubt you guys will be able to see it, but I can see an island out there. That'll be Labuan, because I could see the, here quite clearly from, from the harbour in Labuan. And that is, you can get a boat to there and then a bus back to here. And um, I think that's where the car ferry goes to the end of that point. But, oh, I was hoping there was a little seat out here I could sit in the shade. But there's not. Look at this guy. Borneo, Malaysia. Lost a button on one of my pairs of pants. So this lady's doing it for me now. All the rest of my clothes are in the washing. So I'll have all my clothes back again at the end of the day. Doing my own washing again, guys. That's twice in as many weeks. I can't believe it. And these girls think it's hilarious that I'm doing my own washing. <laughs> Look at this, guys. I'm in heaven. This whole market is satay. I wouldn't know which one to eat at, except my hotel owner told me that this is the best. So I'm going to head here. This is my hotel here, the Shang Sun Motel. Really comfortable. It was about probably 20 US a night, which is a bit much for the sort of room, the hotel it is, but they've spent a lot of money in there. It's clean, all tiled, almost brand new on the inside. Um, it's 7.30 in the morning, 7.20 in the morning. It's already about 30 degrees. It's going to be a hot day. I just had a coffee and a pork bun and a kind of Malaysian donut. I don't know what they're called. The pork bun cha su bao. Uh, yummy. I'm full. I'm going to go up and check Mr. Google what there is to do in this town. Well, guys, according to Google, there's nothing really here. But we're going to have a wander around. There's that point that I showed you yesterday, but you, could, you wouldn't have been able to really see it on the GoPro but it's a big rocky point um, i'll kind of head in that direction guys but you know me i don't like walking too far well that's not right if we're walking around towns i do lots but actually hiking not my thing but we'll go for a wander see what we can see okay delicious coffee back there but i want to try somewhere else so I'll find another place to have coffee and we'll go for a bit of a wander. The lady that did my, um, fixed my pants, put the button on my pants is just up there. And, um, she refused to take any money. I kept insisting, but no, lovely people here, such friendly people. The girl that runs the hotel, organizing everyone at the laundromat because the laundromat's actually part of the hotel, I found that, part of the same business. Look at this guys, amazing, it's kind of, a few places in northern Colombia we saw like this, but this is very typical Asia, Southeast Asia, we'll head down to the coast and I'll get the camera out in a little bit, yes, just gone nine o'clock, so there's the boat heading to Labuan and I remember yesterday we passed the boat and I knew it at about half past nine we passed the boat going the other way when I was coming from Labuan so I knew we were about halfway I'm pretty sure you can see this ship here with the white domes I'm pretty sure that's Labuan just to the left of it so it's not really that far in um, Rome to Rio, and Rome to Rio is a great little um, website, guys, for working out where you're going and how you're going to get there. It's um, on Rome to Rio, Rio, it said two hours, but I think that must be the car ferry, the slow boat, because those that boat yesterday was pretty fast, bouncing around the waves, really hurt my neck. But I'm fine this morning, nothing, it's all right. Yes, it's, I keep thinking my neck's, oh good, no, it's finished, but then days like yesterday happen and I realise it's not finished. I'm getting old, things could be a lot worse, I know that all, I've got some sore neck. People my age in a lot worse positions than I am. Ooh, 
got all this food. Right, what I'm looking for now is a coffee. Yeah, it's cooking something over the fire here. It smells pretty spicy. So I'm going to have a coffee and try one of them. I don't know what it is. Nobody here speaks English, but I'll soon find out. It's, um, it's nice under this shade with the fans, but it's going to be a hot day. Hot, hot, hot. I'm not actually sure what animal this is, but it looks pretty good. Mmm. Mmm. Tastes really good. I'm just going to finish my coffee, finish my little snack, head up the road and maybe have more snacks. Well guys, the market we went to and had all the satay yesterday, oh that was delicious by the way, but that's way up the other end of town, where I just had my coffee and it's satay, whatever it was, was just here. And look, there's even more. This whole town must live on satay. Must be all anybody eats. Trip advisor, actually, it was that to see in Sipitang. There's this point out here, I'll show you in a sec when I can see it properly without the trees. And um, it looks like it's a bit of a hike, and it's hot, guys, it's so hot. So, but you can see out here oh, traffic everywhere, everyone must be going to work. So yeah, this point out here. So I'm going to sort of head in that direction. But if I don't get there, guys, please forgive me. It's hot. It's so hot. Up here, and it's got pictures of panda bears on the thing. I hope they don't have panda bears here. They die in this heat. But I'm pretty sure it's just a dinosaur park for kids. You can see all the dinosaur little statues and things in there. I don't think, there doesn't seem to be any cages or anything, so hopefully there's no panda bears. I'm just about dying in this heat and I'm from Australia. I just asked the local, he said I have to go back this way to the roundabout and turn left, but there was no left at the roundabout, but we'll go and have a look. I keep saying it guys, but it's hot. You can see I'm sweating. And you might be wondering why I keep wearing long sleeve shirts in this heat. So, I've still got fresh tattoos guys, the Malaysia and Singapore have healed but the Brunei one's still quite fresh, but um, yeah, in the next week or two I'll be able to start wearing t-shirts again, I'm looking forward to that. I'm not sure if this is an office building or a private residence or a hotel, I think it's a hotel, it's got a whole lot of different doors, there's heaps of car parks. What a setting for a hotel, guys. Absolutely gorgeous. I've taken a bit of a leaf out of Adam and Yaz's book and forgot to bring water. But, um, I know this is sort of where I went yesterday when I got off the boat. So I do know I'll be able to get a water up here somewhere. Look at this. Beautiful, peaceful. All you can hear is insects. I really don't know why this isn't in the things to do list in TripAdvisor. TripAdvisor, I'd be putting this on your things to do list. Another Chinese temple. It's the same. Um, statue or same goddess that was in at the Labuan. I think it's Vishnu guys, but please don't quote me on that. I, I, but I feel like it might be look at this, just amazing and it looks lovely and cool in that shade so I'm going to have a bit of a sit down before I wander further but I'm glad I didn't give up guys I'm glad I'm suffering for you guys because this is um, I would never have got to see this just amazing really ah that's the exit, that's why it's, I'm going to have a little sit down here. Oh, look at this. Oh, guys, this really is. Oh, I'm going to take my shoes off. The old GoPros, you wouldn't have seen anything in here, but hopefully. Oh, hopefully, you can see this, guys. This is just amazing. Oh, what's in there? Must be a lizard, turtles. 
And the turtle there on the top, turtles in the water. There was one that jumped in there when he saw me coming. There's another one jumping in. Don't worry guys, I'm not going to eat you. Birds flying around. Oh yeah guys, this was really worth the walk. Amazing guys. Sadly everything's in Chinese. So I can't tell you what everything is. But it is their temple, they can put it in any language they like. That's where we're heading to. This just down here, you can see the orange roof just there. That's where I got the um, got off the ferry yesterday. And this is the actual temple up here. I'll go, we'll go and have a quick a closer look at that. Let me know in the comments what religion this is. I think I know in Kuala Lumpur, the, the one we visited there, the big one overlooking KL, that was just gorgeous. That one um, was shared by all the Chinese religions, so this, these might be the same. But if someone could let me know, and if someone could let me know, is that Vishnu up there? I'm not 100% sure. I'm not sure at all, really. I'm not even 1% sure. <laughs> yeah, yeah, We're yeah. taking video, so... I've just sat down in this little local veranda. All the locals tend seem to hang out. They all wanted to be on camera, so that's all right. I found a semi-cold drink of water. I should have bought water with me. I can't get to that point. The guy over here at the ferry terminal, he kept telling me only by car, but I think that was a, a um, lost in translation. I think he meant you can only get there by boat. But we will go and have a wander up in the village. But right now, Say hello to these guys, hello. and um, enjoy my cold water in the shade. Well, from everyone I've talked to, I can't get to that point only by boat. And I can understand that because there's all mangroves through here with little streams going through and everything. So unless they put little footbridges everywhere, uh, that's why I'd walk past this road earlier on, because I thought I'd have to get there from the other side. But Everyone said they no problem. Hello, say hello, YouTube. Hello. <laughs> yes, they said nobody would have a problem if I had to wander through the village. Look at all this rubbish. And this would have been, when the tide comes in, this would have been bored in here, so it wouldn't be all these guys making this mess. This would be even people from Labuan Island and all the ships and oil rigs out, on the, out in the water would have been bringing all this rubbish in with each tide. Hello! Hello. <laughs> Isn't this just gorgeous guys? Look, they're ruined by the rubbish. So this is what's happened. This may be... Hello! It's possible that like you throw stuff in the rubbish, uh, in the beach or in the river in Australia, it could end up here. Indonesian, Malaysian music. Um, I'm not going to go out on these platforms without being invited but yeah it's a whole like we've seen in a few videos there's a whole network of these little tracks through here well guys i think i've invaded these people's homes enough got enough video to show you so oh, actually i'm gonna head up here this looks really quite beautiful young teenage couple having a little romantic walk through the floodplains a little shop here Coconut palms everywhere, coconuts all over the ground. Oh guys, I'm, I'm glad I wandered in here. I was a bit worried if I'd be, if people would think I was intruding, but the guys at the little shade hut where I was sitting, the little veranda, they said, no, no, just go in and have a look. Oh, this must be the local mosque here. Amazing guys. Oh guys, walking through that village, Everyone, like pure, true poverty, everyone was just so happy and smiling. I felt no, I felt like no danger whatsoever. I was quite, felt quite safe walking through there. Yes. Um, sometimes money makes people more greedy. Like the places I felt the most unsafe, well, walking around Fremantle the night time actually. You know, all the amphetamines we've got in Australia at the moment, but when I'm talking about third world countries, it's, it's those countries that have got a bit of money. And they, um, 
the greedy they just want more that's when they go out turn to crime but when people are truly poor like this they tend to be happy hello and when I was sitting in the veranda with those guys a kind of breeze kicked in and now it's become a very very pleasant breeze I'm enjoying this well guys I got plenty of film this morning just going to show you my hotel again the Shen San Motel I don't think they've got a website guys, they do have a Facebook page, I'll put the link in below. Um, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit that mad dog icon up there or the subscribe button down below. You may as well hit that bell icon while you're down there. Um, I always try and respond to your comments, so leave a comment, give me a big thumbs up, share this video everywhere you can. We'll see you in the next one.